I'm not feeling too confident right now. Oh, that's so that sweet okay? of you. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it together. We'll do it together? Yeah. What I just now did now was being a bit vulnerable, and that's not easy. But today we're going to talk about vulnerability as a crucial ability in relationships. Yes. Hi, my name is Dr. Estelle Romanelli. And I'm Galit Romanelli. And we're the Potential, Potential State. State. And today we're going to talk about vulnerability as the crucial ability in relationships, especially for men. So we're all taught that vulnerability is weakness, especially men. Psychological patriarchy, and we try to hide our vulnerable sides, our shadow. Yes. I think we are taught that vulnerability is considered kind of weak, right? Um, Brene Brown talks a lot about vulnerability and how actually if we can step into our vulnerabilities, then that's a place for connection and intimacy and humanity, right? Like that's where we can all connect as individuals and, and humans. But I think that kind of the messages that we have received is that it's considered weak, um, that we might be, that if people know our vulnerabilities, then we'll be taken advantage of. Or they'll leave us. Or they'll leave us, or they won't like what they see, or they'll use them against us. And so we kind of, Brene Brown talks about it as armoring up, right? Like we put all this armor on so that you can't actually know what I'm really feeling or what's really going on. And I think that what we've found, um, especially as we kind of work with, with more and more couples, is that Vulnerability is key, is key to unlocking the intimacy and to really getting to know you and your partner. And this refers to the episode of if you want to be loved, show your shadow, because if I'm not showing my vulnerability, my vulnerable sides, then I'm in self-presentation. Then we have this kind of reflected sense, this kind of uh, shallow but not interesting um, relationship. And this kind of prevents us from raising differentiation. You can reference the differentiation episode. And the solution is to show your vulnerability. And I think... You know, Brene Brown, is, is a, you know, she speaks a lot about that. I, we think that vulnerability is the 21st century strength. Yeah. Like that is what brings people together. That's Absolutely. what enlists and creates empathy. Totally. And that's, that really helps also release shame and guilt. Yep. Because I'm sharing when I'm, I'm bearing it out. And sometimes couples ask us, well, what's the difference between vulnerability and codependency or dependency? Right. I think that the, the biggest difference is the intention, right? Like how we approach it because, because being vulnerable isn't, it doesn't have the intention of, I need you to fix this. Vulnerability is just, this is where I'm at. And in the art of intimacy episode, we talk about other validated intimacy where I'm saying something for you to validate that or to. Right. And I think with, with dependency, there's this kind of, Oh, I, I need you to fix this or I need, you know, I need you to do something. Or reciprocate. The, the right. Way. Right. And that's yeah. other validated intimacy. But then what we were trying to go for is self validated intimacy where I'm sharing, not for you to fix it or heal me or also right. share. It's just, I'm sharing where I am right now. Right. Right, just sharing a deep truth about myself, I'm what saying, I'm feeling, right. what I'm fearing. Exactly. Yeah. And all that's in the art of intimacy. So I want to give an example because I see this all in the clinic, especially with men. Like just the other day I was working with a couple and they're having a hard time financially and he has historically been the one who's in charge of the finances. And I was trying to help him share his, his tension, his fear, his anguish about this. And he, he, couldn't, he couldn't, he said, why would she want to hear that? Like, like... Right, like why would I want to um, burden her with yes. this? Yeah, my pain, I mean, reference the episode of your pain is not my responsibility. He's like, why would I burden her on this? So he didn't, he, he couldn't fathom that actually sharing his pain or his worry would actually bring them closer. Right. And when he did do that, in yeah. fact, she was very happy to hear that. Yeah. And again and again, I'm noticing this and I also noticed about myself. Like I remember when we just started dating, I kind of went MIA for a couple of days and then Galit came back and... She no, was... no, we, we were supposed to go away together right. for a weekend and you just, a couple of days before, total MIA, like didn't call, couldn't reach you. I, I freaked out. Yeah, I like, I didn't know what the plan was. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? What's going on? And then when we finally got together, um, I think to kind of like meet up to, to go up north where we were going to go. I was like, I'm not, this, this, this is a no-go. Like we can't, I don't, I haven't talked to you in two days. I don't know what's going on. And at that moment, I'm freaking out thinking she's going to break up with me. And then before I even notice it, I say the, the historic words of, please don't leave me. <laughs> and I went all puppy dog eyes. And that was a moment of real big vulnerability for me. And I didn't know how that would land. And, and how was that for you when I said that? 
I think it was a moment where you were willing to be very honest with, you know, certain fears um, and like uh, almost this kind of, I don't know, you tell me. I just remember it really, it opened me up yeah, to you and I, like I, it, it was, really, it, I felt it, super embarrassed because it was super like, ah, oh, because for me, you know, vulnerability was like, ah, oh, being childish and not masculine. I think it, it allowed the conversation to shift. So rather than it being an argument and me being, you know, and you being defensive and kind of like, you know, going down a kind of more fight path, right? it allowed kind of this softness to come out of like, Let's talk about, you know, where our relationship is going. And I think for a lot of people and a lot of men I work with, it's a reframe. Vulnerability brings people together. You will be more loved. You are yeah. more beautiful and more yeah. sexy and more attractive and more interested. In, interesting when you are more vulnerable. Why? Because I, it, Why? it really, right? Like, and total, this is totally Brene Brown. This is what she talks about. Like, vulnerability elicits empathy. Yeah. It just does. It's just this, it's this like magnet and you just allow yourself to drop the, the armor and to really connect heart to heart and to really see each other. Because basically what you're saying when you're willing to be vulnerable is you're willing to expose yourself. And I think that that ability to expose yourself comes with great trust because you won't do that with just anyone. And I think that that's kind of, I think that was what happened at the moment, you know, that you said that in the car with me, was that I recognized your vulnerability and I recognized fear and I, I think that I wanted to meet you there. Like I wanted to not be angry that you kind of, you know, were, were gone, but rather like, okay, let's use this opportunity to, to reflect and discuss where, where we are. Right, because vul vulnerability begets vulnerability. Yeah. self validated intimacy brings more self added intimacy or Schnarch calls it self-exposure, brings self-exposure. It's exact opposite from self-presentation. Oh, I'm right. fine, I'm fine. Right. It's like I'm bringing that one bit. And there, that all gears up to a sense of freedom to bring my different signs. I can just be myself. I, yeah. can, I can say the thing. Yeah. And to have that, to be vulnerable and be accepted is one of the greatest feelings there is. So how to do that? So first of all, share this episode with your partner and then check your core beliefs about vulnerability. Yeah. What did you learn yeah. about being vulnerable? Right. And this can also be a gender thing if you're and, a man or woman. And, like, yeah. And, and yeah, I think that's really important. I think you know, looking at, you know, what is our, how is our family with vulnerability? Are we vulnerable with each other? Um, are there secrets? Is there guilt and shame and things like that? Um, what are the messages that I received from my surrounding? Is it okay? Is it safe to be vulnerable? Right? Because I think right. that when we venture out to this, place of being um, exposed and, and showing our vulnerabilities, we have to start in a place where we're really safe, exactly. where we know and are confident that it won't be used against us. And I think vulnerability, it's not just my fear. Sometimes vulnerability can be my anger or my sexuality. And yeah, things or that my selfishness, even... right? Exactly. Like one time I said to you, no, I'm, I'm selfish and I'm lazy. Like that was me being vulnerable. That was me showing, that was me being willing to show a side of me that most people don't get to see. Yeah. And I needed to trust that in that moment when I say that to you, you won't use that against me later um, in future fights or even in the moment, right? Like with contempt or, or with kind of like disgust. I needed to trust that if I say that to you, you'll, you'll recognize that moment for what it is. So that's interesting you're saying because a lot of couples will say, I say this to them like, well, I don't trust my partner. And then I say to them, well, you will never know like you can either wait till you know 100% that you'll get the safety and the validation from your partner or you can start being vulnerable and seeing if your partner right. can deal with this because right. you're raising the bar. You want to create a relationship where you can be vulnerable. Right. And if you're, if, oh, in a second, we're going to give the tips, but if you find yourself again and again being vulnerable and your partner's not meeting you there. Right. Well, I think that's also kind of where Schnarch comes in, right? Like if I'm vulnerable and you're, you're not, you're not reacting that, to that then I, I, that's an, that's an opportunity for me to check with myself. Like, you right. know, how do I ground myself and how do I react to that? And is this, is, do I want to be with someone who can't, who can't, um, who can't handle my vulnerability? Who can't. Yeah. Would you want to be in a relationship where you can't be vulnerable? Like right. what's the point of that relationship? And I think, but even more than that, right? Like, like if I, if I don't trust this person with my vulnerabilities, 
then what is the foundation of this relationship? Then I always need to be armored up. I always need to be in self-presentation. That's a recipe for loneliness, boredom, apathy. Okay, so we were talking about the core beliefs. Reflect on that. Share with them. Then um, share in bite size. This is really important. Like choose someone. It could be your partner, but if you don't feel that safe with your partner, it could be be a a really close friend. A therapist, a mentor, or a... And start with bite size. You can reference the episode, The Art of Sharing. And the idea is to share a little bite size, like little things, right. seeing it land, letting it land. Right. Have that feeling like it's a muscle, right? It's right. a muscle it's an of ability. How, we, how we are vulnerable. Right. So I can start with something that I'm a little bit embarrassed of or a dream I have or one of the flaws that, or a mistake I've done in the past. I'm like sharing them in bite size. Yeah. And it's important for the part, whoever's listening to that, to ground themselves. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to, oh, they don't have to cheer me up afterwards. You need to remember. Right. I think that one of the one of the things that we find so difficult with with vulnerability is that and again, reference Brene Brown for this, but it's the sitting with someone who's vulnerable, yeah. right? Like yeah. being just being able to sit with that feeling makes us a little uncomfortable. Right. Um, and I think that often we think we need to do something, but it's actually just sitting with it. And that reminds me that oftentimes, like when I was working with the man to admit about the finance, I need to work with his partner. With her just kind of like Just letting it land. It, right? Just like, letting it yeah, land. Yeah. Reference yeah. the episode, your pain is not my responsibility because it usually feeds each other. The more I can sit with my partner's vulnerability without feeling the need to fix or heal or cheer right, them up, right. that's going to encourage the partner to open up more. Yeah. And then after you do share that little nugget, try to stay open. Don't go silly or cute or change topics. Like, let yourself be yeah, seen there. Yeah. Because it's, the ability is you not You can only- even say, you know, that was really hard for me. Yeah. Right? But I, I also feel kind of like it's almost like riding that wave. Yeah. Right? Um, Emily and the ghost can come as you are. Talks about how our emotions kind of have a cycle. So if we can kind of ride that wave of the of the vulnerability emotion that 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 it will take us on to just kind of let it wash through us. Yeah. And over time, you'll be sharing more and more parts of yourself. Reference the episode, uh, your faults are welcome here. And you'll be able to be more and more of yourself. And then you will achieve a sense of freedom. I can be yeah. myself yeah. and make sure all my flaws. And you can also get more connected with yourself, yeah. right? You can start exploring what are these emotions that are coming up? What am I feeling? And you can then express them. You can name them and express them. It just, I think that what we've learned is that vulnerability and being able to step into it and express it, recognize and express it has really opened up and unleashed, you know, this whole treasure of an emotional world between yeah. couples. So vulnerability is the crucial ability in relationships. You can do it, you can develop it. This was Gilly Romanelli. Dr. Sal Romanelli. And we're the potential, potential state. state. We'll see you next time.